Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about something called the superposition of waves. Superposition of waves. What does the superposition of waves mean? When um, two waves interfere with each other, like these ones here, this is wave number one and this is wave number two, they interfere at certain points, A wave results. The intensity of this wave equals the sum of the intensities of uh, both waves that we have here. So this interference leads to the superposition of waves and um, this superposition of waves leads to the formation of beads. So, how can we draw the resultant wave from here? Because it seems kind of blurry and a lot of people get confused about that. Simply what we do is summing both waves together. For example, here in this um, kind of graph, we may say that this is the x-axis, the horizontal one, and this is the y-axis, the vertical one. And we can draw some sort of vertical lines. We will put on each line a point, then we connect them together so that we can finally get our wave. So let's say on the first line, where shall we put the point? So we said that this is the y-axis. So the upper part is positive and the lower part is negative. So in the blue wave, this is the distance from the zero. And in the uh, black wave, this is the distance from the zero. So what we do is we subtract the negative part from the positive part. Or in other words, we sum uh, both y values of the two waves. So this is positive and this is negative, so accordingly we subtract this from this one. So we get a point, for example, here. And this distance is equal to this one. On the second line, we have the black wave moved this distance and the blue wave moved this distance. We add them together because they are both in the positive direction of the y-axis. So we add this on this so that we get a point here. The next line, the black wave made this distance, the blue wave made this distance, this is the negative, so we subtract it from here so that we get a point at that part. Here we had the black wave made this distance, the blue wave made that distance, they are kind of equal. So, positive and negative, they make a zero. The next line is sort of the same thing. So we get a zero in here also. At that point, the black uh, wave is at zero. 
the blue wave meant that distance, so we sum them together so that we get a point in here. And finally, we have this distance and that one. The black is a little bit more um, than the uh, distance made by the blue. And this is in the negative and this is the positive, so the negative value will be higher than the positive. So, for example, the point may be here. So, if you connect the dots together, we may have a wave like that. So, this is the resultant wave. So, when we subtract a wave from another, this is called destructive. interference. Why is it called destructive? Because it um, reduces the strength of the uh, wave. Again, it's called destructive when we subtract a uh, wave from another, when we want to draw a point to get the uh, resultant wave. And this is an example for the destructive interference. But the second point, we added both waves together so that uh, the point, the, the resultant point, is higher than both waves. So this gives more strength to the wave at that point. This kind of interference is called constructive interference. This is called constructive interference. So this is the uh, superposition of waves. I hope it's clear uh, the meaning of destructive and constructive interference, how we draw the resultant waves and this stuff. And um, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.